fancy beauties and bowls welcome back to the channel listen this video is going to be uh, makeup chit chat where I can kind of talk to you guys a little bit while I'm doing my makeup so many of you have been you know subscribed to me for a while I've been on YouTube for seven years and I've been pretty hard on myself when I say that number because there are some YouTubers that are well beyond where I am as far as you know subscribers and also as far as the views that they receive on their videos right so being the I don't know the competitive person that I am I felt like dang Gina seven years you've been on YouTube and you know you you have 5,000 almost 5,000 subscribers I have uh, 4,700 and out of the 4,700 subscribers that I have, I would say I get maybe between, on an average, I would get maybe 20, between 26 views to the most I've gotten, um, to maybe a hundred, I'll say a hundred and fifty views, depending on what the content is. So if I break it down uh, on makeup videos, I would get anywhere from 26 to about 70 views on my makeup looks. The ones that are faithful, you know, that come through, you guys, the 70 of you guys that come through and show support. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, where my other people at? Where my other fancy beauties and bows? Ah, uh, why y'all ain't showing up? <laughs> now, when I first started YouTube, I did it just because it was, it was a place where I could go because I am, um, uh, how can I say it? I was an enthusiast for the stage. I'll put it to you that way. I've always been on stage in some form or fashion, uh, whether it be from cheerleading to gymnastics to ballet, modern dance, fashion, um, you know, modeling or what have you. Um, I've always loved that atmosphere, that environment. So when I found YouTube, I was like, oh, okay. And this is a place I can come to and put up, you know, things that I love and things that I enjoy and have a passion for I could put this up here and I don't have to deal with um, an agent telling me no you too short or um, no you don't have the right look or whatever I could just put up my content and keep it moving right then as I was putting up my videos uh, YouTube reached out to me and said you know you've reached this milestone and we want to invite you to be uh, a partner on YouTube and you know it gave you the the details of what that meant which included uh, being compensated for your viewership so I was like oh, okay I'm with that I can always use some more coins I, I, I never turn coins down. So that gave me more incentive to, you know, put up content and to um, 
continue doing YouTube, right? Plus, my, my kids were grown, they were out of the house, and I needed something to occupy my time so I wouldn't get the empty nest syndrome and all of that. So, did that. Now, I admit, the back then, the videos that I was putting out in regards to my makeup looks was garbage. Um, you know, I look back on the videos now because I still have uh, most of them up, um, but I have them private because they oh, really bad. <laughs> okay, and so, you know, that I'll contribute to the place where my channel is today. Now, over the years, I have gotten better. Y'all that's been riding with me for a long, y'all tell me down below if I'm tripping or if, you know, if it's true that, you know, my makeup looks have come a long way from where they were. Um, and I can say that honestly because I, uh, I'm a, my worst critic, okay? I know when, I, when I'm on point and when I'm not on point. So I, I'm able to take corrective criticism. So y'all let me know what, what the dealio is. So aside from my uh, makeup looks, I did cooking videos. Those went over pretty well um, as far as um, getting views. The, the videos that have been most successful for me are my um, my ovation my ovation hair therapy uh, videos and I still stand by that product to this day. It is on the more expensive side. I will say that, but it's worth it. I mean that product got me on a healthy hair journey because at that point I had tried everything and when I say I tried everything I had tried everything that I knew to try at that point so those get a lot of views my controversial video um, one of them I deleted because um, I was getting too much uh, too much hate on that one and uh, this was the um, how men view Atlanta women and how women view Atlanta men it's not titled that but that was the content this is when I first moved to Atlanta and I was getting everybody's opinion on what I should expect and this that and the other so a lot of people when I moved here that's not subscribed to me wanted to know, you know, the tea on Atlanta. So I, I put it. I put the video. These were not my thoughts. Hold on. Let me concentrate. These were not my thoughts, but... I put it up anyway and I received lots of views on this still received lots of views on this because one of them I left up um, and I can't remember which one it is I will link it down below um, so just in case y'all want to see it you can and I was supposed to get around to making my making another video about my experience with living in Atlanta and I just have not gotten around to it uh, one because I don't live there anymore and I don't think it would be fair for me to make a video and I'm not living there anymore okay and um, still trying to get there y'all know that um the 
other um, videos that's been successful for me are my um, surgery videos with my hysterectomy. I still get ladies that contact me about um, their experiences. They share their experiences with me. And um, I'm so glad that I made that those series of videos because I never knew, you know, how many women are, you know, dealing with this um, and how many of them are afraid of, you know, what, what they're going through and what they're being faced with. So I am truly glad that I follow God's um, guidance and, and made those videos. What else? What are the videos? Uh, I believe that's the front of them. So, with all that being said, I looked on on my page uh, because you know I do I do YouTube strictly for the love for the love of being able to come somewhere and express myself you know and what I like to do and and connect with you guys that are really here for me okay that's the reason I do YouTube now I'm not gonna sit here and say um, you know, they could keep the money. I ain't really tripping on the money, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm not rich. Even rich people don't turn money down. And I'm not even close to being rich. I'm rich in the Lord. So, I looked on my channel and uh, got this message that says, if you notice you've received, you've earned less on your channel, it's because of blah, blah, blah. Because of your, your content or what have you is not ad friendly, <laughs> right? So you guys that rock with me know I was already taken aback when it said that. I was like, what? I don't put out controversial videos. I'm all about positivity. I'm all about uplifting others. So what are they talking about? So I clicked on the link and it took me to a list of videos, okay? And I'm gonna try to insert that um, somehow. I'm going to try to. I don't know um, quite how to do that. But if I can do it, you'll see it somewhere um, over where I'm, where I'm speaking. So I see this and it's like a list of videos. A couple of them are outfits of the days. Like it had the word sexy in it. And that one was marked um, those two, those two or three of them, how many of it was, were marked, um, not ad friendly. Okay. So I'm like, okay. And I'm looking some more, um, and up pops some, the videos on my hysterectomy experience. And I'm like, what? How is this controversial? Controversial or graphic in any way? Uh, granted, one of them I did show um, the the incision, but it was healed. There was nothing gory about it. Um, one of them showed, you know, the bandages. That's not graphic. It was only band aids. You know, it's only the gauze that was uh, across my um, abdomen. So, how was that? 
what else was on there that I was like, what, really? Oh, my um, wrap it up segments that I was doing when I was reviewing um, the Houstons when that show was on, those, all of those uh, were not ad friendly. <laughs> So what, what you can do is you can go on and there's a, a place where you can click on to have your video um, reviewed and it won't be reviewed by a computer, it'll actually be reviewed by a person. So I did that and um, so now you just have to sit back, once you do that you just have to sit back and wait for them to you know get back to you and um, see what the results are gonna be, right? So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, good thing I'm not doing YouTube strictly for the money. Okay, so good thing I'm not doing it strictly for the money. I'm doing it because this is truly what I enjoy doing. I truly enjoy makeup, hair, you know, fashion, um, DIYs. I truly, truly love that. Now my passion, my all-time passion is it's a tie between you know, hair and uh, makeup. I have to say that. So, um, that's where we at on YouTube. So, uh, as of now, right now, September, the month of September, I made zero dollars off of YouTube. Zero. Zero dollars off of YouTube. Off of my videos. And you guys know the ones that, that rock hard with me and watch every single video that I put up. You guys know I put a lot into my videos because I don't believe in putting junk up for people to watch I make sure my um, I make sure my my videos are edited clearly. Um, make sure that my um, my content is good. I make sure that it's entertaining. You know, I'm I'm probably the only one. Um, YouTuber that uses the green screen. I've used the green screen since I've been on YouTube. You know, even when I used the green screen back in the day, you know, I would get people, uh, you need to take that, don't use the green screen, don't use the green screen. Well, YouTube is a place for you to, to be original. So that was my way of trying to set myself apart from everyone else um, because back then nobody was using uh, a backdrop you know it was whatever you had wherever you was filming was your background whether you was filming in your room or in the basement or you know in front of your bed 
that was your your background. Or we had those um room dividers, you know, the um with the pretty picture and and all of that, you know, we we use that for the background. So I'm like, okay, everybody using that. I don't want to be like everybody. I want to be set apart. So I use my green screen. And I use green screen for my fashion, my outfit of the, of the days. We don't do that anymore. Like, YouTube is just strictly, you know, commercial now. Everything is, you know, let me get this paid sponsorship. Let me reach a million subscribers. And and there's nothing wrong with that. So don't don't think I'm bashing anybody with that. I'm not because, honey, if I'm ever good enough to be to reach a million subscribers, <laughs> I'm gonna be so happy. Okay. Um, but what I'm saying is, some authenticity has been lost. You know, due to the, the direction that YouTube is going in and has gone in. And I don't want to to be in that in that number. <laughs> when I reach a million subscribers, I'll just have to put that in there. When I reach a million subscribers. <laughs> um I'm not gonna change. So we're gonna use this color here. Um I'm not I'm not gonna change who I am and who I've always been on YouTube. You know? Uh, because I have God in my life and you know when you follow God's word no matter how much money you make, you can't be vain. He does not like that. So, you know, and I, I look back on my life and I feel like, you know, if I would have made it to gymnastics had, had I not um, gotten pregnant, um, that may have been the devastation of my life, you know, because I was not mentally ready and God knew that you know maybe that would have taken me down the path of no return who knows you know because even though mom uh, had us in church money is the root to all evil you know what I mean so That may have been a good thing that your girl didn't make it to the Olympics and and had all that success and money and fame and all that other stuff that go with it. You know. So I instead of wallowing in self pity and like I like I used to do, you know, what if? I can't live in what if. Cause it's gone. That time is gone. It's gone and past. And we on to the next chapter in, in life. Uh, so basically all I can do is push forward. We gonna go with this one here. So, I'm okay with that. Finally, I'm okay with that. I just have to find a, the way that God has for me to get to that level now that I'm able to handle uh, success. I feel like I'm mature enough in the word to be able to handle 
that that kind of success so if it's on YouTube where I get it great if it's you know my my website for where I sell my hair extensions great make my wigs great you know whichever way God sends me I'm willing to go because I tried it my way and it didn't work so when you know you're able to do better sometimes we know and we still don't do better Keep on telling. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. We keep getting in the way. So my message is basically for the the new YouTubers that's coming up uh, and coming into the game, you know, and they have been doing this thing uh, for a while feeling discouraged and you feeling like man I'm not gonna do this YouTube no more. Go back to the reason why you started it. And if you started it strictly for the notoriety or strictly for the money, you probably gonna get tired and drop out of it. But if you really doing it because this is what you really like doing. This is what you're passionate about. This is you doing it because you want to share and you want to teach someone um, your craft and how to do what you do. Then stick in there because you never know which way God going to take you with that. Sometimes we give up too fast and you give up right when the Lord about to bless you. And you can't do that. You can't give up. You can't quit. Anything worth having is worth working for. Anything. So, that's my, my little inspiration, my little message, whatever you have you need to get it. That's what it is. That's what I'm giving to you today. Don't give up just because your channel not moving and spent. And trust me, I've had moments where it's like, man, I put my all in this video, my intro, my modelization time. I put my all into this. I made sure I blended my colors together. I made sure, you know, I didn't have makeup looking crazy. And still I end up with 75 views. It's okay. Those 75 people, my 75 fancy beauties and bones, my 150, my 200, my 300, Fancy beauties and bones that came through and supported me. Thank you. That's who I do it for. The other 4,400, you know, fancy beauties and bones, let me know what I need to do to get you motivated and get you inspired to want to watch my content. Because the more money I make, the more I can pass that on to you guys. Because I was able to have one contest um, on my channel where I gave away $100. I like doing stuff like that. And I want to be able to continue to do things like that. So help me help you, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter if you come through or not. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to put my videos out. I'm still going to keep my heart and soul into this channel. I'm not going anywhere. And even when I start
start getting wrinkly and crazy looking, <laughs> I have to find something else to keep entertaining you guys. So we gonna work it out one way or another. Anyway, let me go ahead and finish this look and um, y'all enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys just coming through here uh, for the first time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Tell me down below, you know, the ones that are subscribed to me and the ones that's coming through. If you checked out any of my other videos, let me know what I need to do to tweak things a little better. You know, like I said, I don't mind uh, corrective criticism. I'm cool with that. I can take it. So you won't hurt my feelings at all if you tell me, um, Gene, I'm gonna need you to blend more. Uh, Gina, I'm gonna need you to talk to me more. Um, Gina, uh, you need to fix your wigs better or, you know, uh, whatever it may be. Your voice is annoying, don't talk. Just do more voiceovers. Or I want you to talk. Give me step by step on how you doing your makeup, how you putting it on, or this, that, and the other. Let me know. And I will do, um, you know, something to, to suit everyone. If y'all want me to do more advice videos, um, if you want me to do more vlogs, I'm here for that. Whatever it is, it's this is our channel. This is this is our fancy family over here. So I'm trying to be fancy for you, honey. So you gotta let me know what you want to see. If you want me to do more um, spiritual um, advice videos, I mean, whatever you want, tell me and I'm gonna get it up for you. Okay? On to the makeup look. Thank you for supporting me. I always say that, and I always mean it. Thank you for supporting me. I love you guys, and I'm gonna keep giving it to you. Real and raw, and 100%. I'm always gonna come and give it to you, 100%. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.
Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.